<laughs> That's Am I with yep, you? you're uh, a little. Anyways, very quickly, uh, I was hoping maybe at the next uh, meeting that we could get an update at the community center. It's been a while uh, since you know, there's been a, uh, an explanation of where we are. And I'm assuming we're getting ready for a uh, proposal for bids. I use the case of I think it would be worthwhile for the community to understand where we are by the time. So. Thank you very much. Anyone else? I would just ask everybody to try to speak up a little bit because the microphone is way back here. Okay. Other comments? All right. Well, if not, we'll move on to the board and staff comments. Uh, I have a couple. Um, okay. One is um, I have met with um, Fernando um, with the county on traffic in a couple of locations and um, as I mentioned at a prior board meeting, they are doing some improved signage at Highland and Arlmont. They still haven't gotten the signs apparently, so um, I will be bugging Fernando to make sure that this is done before um, the school year begins. And uh, Ricky, I just saw um, Bob Zanoni um, going, oh there he's coming now. Um, and, and also I met with uh, Chief Hull um, with Fernando. We also met with Fernando um, at the intersection of Coventry and Arlington, and they're going to do some, um, in the short term, some improved uh, painting uh, of the street so that um, cars that would be turning right from Arlington onto Coventry uh, will be forced to go a little bit slower uh, than they're doing right now. Um, an improved crosswalk there, which is apparently used quite a bit in the morning by kids running for the bus and, and uh, other people crossing there for the bus, uh, will take a little bit longer and um, will involve more money. And I brought up the issue that was brought up at the last fire board, and this is with respect to York, Windsor, and St. Albans, and some of those streets you park in facing the cul-de-sac as opposed to facing out, which um, may be important um, in the event of an emergency and the county is willing to work with the neighbors on that and I know that um, Vita is going to round up her neighbors to um, get those on, on uh, York uh, if they w are willing to have the signage change they'll be um, parking facing out and not in. Um, and one other thing that we learned um, from Fernando is um, that just like the uh, fire um, mitigation program where neighbors that have overgrown vegetation, the county um, will also issue orders, and there's Anne, um, the county will also issue orders to have homeowners cut their greenery that's blocking visibility as you're driving um, and wanting to make a turn. Um, they will, um, let's see, Nancy, uh, uh, yeah. Um, they will um, uh, issue an order to homeowners to um, trim their greenery that's blocking intersections. Excuse me, while we're on that subject, I know uh, you didn't come up with you know, you voted to uh, buy two new speed sensors? Yes, they're going to Okay, so you're going to today? Or yeah, I'm here in the comments. It's only a general yeah, Well, then, then I will uh, All right, hold my uh, comment. Yeah. 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 And uh, the, the only other topic of, um, Chief Hall will address. Yeah, I just had a couple of years. Yeah, do you want to talk about it? Or? Oh, so, the, uh, the, the board uh, put into order two permanent solar radar signs and then two extra poles that we put on Purdue and Beloit. Um, and those poles and the radar signs came in. Um, the poles were not quite what we ordered for Beloit and, and Purdue, but it looks like we can repurpose the poles on Franciscan and Arlington, which are meant for portable signs, put those on Purdue and Beloit. The poles that came in are were really designed for permanent installations, which is more appropriate for Arlington and Franciscan anyway. So those, I don't know exactly what to be done, but all the equipment is there, so hopefully in a week or two, which will be up. Uh, hopefully, I'll, I'll be on the phone with Fernando this afternoon, and right. we'll be working those details out. Right. So it's all good. Okay. Bug them about um, Highland and Arlmont. The signage for those. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Um, different from Fernando. Oh, okay. okay. Chris, did you, did you say this was solar? Um, for Francisco and Arlington. Okay. So you're going to. Those are going to be permanent. 
Pardon me? Those are from there. Right. So you're going to switch out the ones that are battery operated and put those at Purdue. And, well, the, and the poles are better on Franciscan and, and the Arlington. There's no signs on those right now, but those are poles meant for portable signs. Okay. And that's what's intended to go on Purdue and the way. But there's no sun on, on Ar Arlington near Sunset. in the trees. Well, I'm getting a clarification. On Purdue, though, that sign will be a solar? No. Okay. Just That'll right. be one of the portable locations. Okay. Thank you. Right. Right. You know, it's going to, the one in Arlington, if I understand it, is not going to be where it is now. It's going to be in a, a different part that does have sign. Right. Does that make sense? No, that, thank you. I appreciate that. Um, and I don't really have uh, details on this, but I'm trying to arrange a, um, a community traffic meeting with Moni Sam from the county and with Ricky, and I still need to talk to Ricky about that uh, in September sometime, where people can come and, and discuss traffic concerns, but also just understand what the, the limits and where the responsibilities lie. Because Eileen and I both get questions about what can be done, and sometimes it's county, sometimes it's, it's the police, and I think it'd be good not only to let everybody talk to the people that can do some, uh, provide some solutions, but also understand where the responsibilities are, because this is a little gray about it. is it county, is it police? So hopefully in September, and I'll by the next meeting, hopefully have a, um, a date for that. Is that uh, traffic sign location on Arlington is right about where people are hitting their peak speed downhill into sunset? And so well, it's, it is a different location for the permanent one, right? Yeah, you, but there has been one there, and yeah, that's, that's been the one that's the intermittent one. What that's not working or a we can discuss this yeah. with the people that are back and forth and people right. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> Do you have a yes, I have a couple of things. Uh -huh. Just real quick, I wanted to make a statement on recruitment. Um, so I have the two individuals uh, currently in the background. I just spoke to another individual Sunday at the farmers market who expressed some interest. But they also have uh, applications in, in other places. So we're still moving forward with that. We're advertising right now permanently on the uh, POST website, which is the Police Officer Standard and Training, which is the uh, state of California's law enforcement uh, website. Uh, with that, We have an ad, uh, advertisement on, on there. The, um, the second point I wanted to just bring up real quick is, coming in October, I'm going to implement a program, Coffee with a Cop. Um, uh, most of the, uh, Cal or a lot of California agencies are instituting this and uh, we're going to start one here in Kensington also. So that I, I haven't decided on the frequency, whether it's going to be once every month or, or, or bi-monthly. Bi That's still left, left to be decided. However, the first Wednesday in October is sort of the National Coffee with a Cop Day. And that's when I plan to kick off our program. Can I ask you a quick question? Sir? How do you plan to communicate that to the public? That will be sent out. Uh, that will be sent out. It'll be put on the website. Um, it will uh, hopefully be able to be put in the the uh, Kensington Outlook. It will be sent out via the uh, via the uh, email that we have within the department. Let me just, so, if I can comment very quickly on well, that. Well, no, not really. I mean, we don't really shake that sort of thing. I mean, not to be. No, that's not. Any I'll, couple I'll, suggestions, I, we're happy to take, or we're happy Nixon. to have a conversation. <laughs> yeah, we have Nick's own. Excuse me. Okay. I think I'll be there. All right. Uh, we apologize for the uh, cancellation of the July regular, uh, the special July meeting. And uh, our next regular meeting will be uh, next Thursday on August 9th. Uh, on Tuesday, I attended the uh, Kensington Municipal Advisory Council uh, meeting, uh, and I'm happy to report that uh, KMAC approved our land use permit for seismic upgrades and ADA accessibility, and is passing uh, their approval and their motion onto the county, who will hopefully take up that issue in August. So many thanks to uh, Glass and Associates um, for presenting at, at that meeting and getting our approval. Any other comments? Uh, just at the, on the community center, uh -huh. that, uh, the latest information that I had, uh, since there was a question raised about it, is that uh, it's currently the permitting process of the county 
and it's, uh, there were a few bumps at the beginning, but it seems to be going well. It's a very detailed process. But the, uh, the, the intent is not to rent the building after November 1st. I bet you. Could you help me? Well, we will move on to items of new business. Uh, General Manager Gross Torres, would you like to introduce this item? Well, we have two items on the uh, appropriations. Okay, for, excuse me, for a, the appropriations uh, limit. The appropriations limit, which uh, we're required by law to uh, have a public meeting. Uh, it's uh, something annually done by all local governments in California. And the, uh, since we had to reschedule a meeting, we had to republish the, uh, the notice. So that was. Uh, Published on July 19th, I believe. Uh, so, uh, and Bill Zanoni is here who uh, did all the calculations. We are below the limit, so this is more of a uh, routine matter to pass this uh, particular resolution, which I think is 2018. Bill, would you like to talk for a moment about that? The calculations? Certainly. This, uh, this is a calculation, um, as Tony indicated, that all government agencies uh, go through every year. Uh, it's a result of um, a ballot initiative back in 1979, Proposition 4, which um, added Article 13B to the, to the California Constitution, and it places limits on the uh, level of uh, proceeds of taxes that if all public agencies can um, can appropriate. So the, the exercise every year is to take the base year, which is 19, uh, this first calculation goes back to 1980, and every year that base calculation is adjusted by changes in, um, changes in population and per capita income. And because you're a special, if you were a city, it would be based on changes in population in the city. Because we're a, a special district in an uh, unincorporated area, it's based on changes in population in the county. So for 1819, the uh, change in population for Contra Costa County was an increase of 0.88%, and the California per capita personal income increased 3.67%. So the calculation is very simple. We just take last year's limit and multiply it by those two percentage increases. And so the, the increase, uh, the, the appropriation limit for 1819 is $4,375,000. And the appropriations subject to the limit are $3.1 million. So you are right now um, under your limit by about one point one million two hundred and seventy one thousand dollars, and that's and that's the case for most public agencies. But this is just a calculation that's required. Thank you very much. Um, are there any public comments? All right. Seeing as there are none, I would like to um, propose a motion that we uh, accept resolution twenty eighteen dash ten. I'll second. Uh, I, I think I need to read the title. Oh, just talk a little bit, are you? <laughs> <laughs> um, that the Benson Police Protection and Community Services District affirms the establishment of the appropriations limit applicable to the district during the financial during excuse me the fiscal year 2018-19. And now we'll second. <laughs> okay. All in favor? Aye. Yes. Uh, <coughs> Did you get your second? Yes. Oh, okay. uh, but actually, we are short of a board member, so excuse me. I have to take a roll call. Uh, Director Welsh? Yes. Uh, Vice President Ntoli? Yes. Director Deppie? Aye. And I also vote yes. So the motion passes 4 to 0. All right, moving on to 4B. This is the uh, uh, appropriations limit election. Tony, would you like to present this? Uh, sure. Uh, and here's uh, nice enough to step in and follow up on this, which. Uh, uh, Kenzie, well, first uh, I, I express an opinion on the Proposition 4, which was really directed toward large governments in California, uh, such as Los Angeles and San Diego and San Francisco, and it had uh, no effect on them at all. 
it affected small uh, agencies who had, uh, did not have diverse revenue sources and uh, whose population was not growing. And so it affected this, a lot of special districts um, such, such as Kensington. So the limit uh, to set it up at a, an acceptable but higher level needs an election of, of the voting public. And it has to be done every four years. And it's been done, and I went back and counted it, Kensington, it's been done 10 times in 40 years. So uh, the last time was four years ago. So uh, I think we include, I don't know if we included the ballot. Uh, mm -hmm. You can see what was done last time. In fact, I think you can use the, the exact language in the ballot that was used previously because it's exact. We're just duplicating. Change the dates. <laughs> Change the dates. Yeah. It's the same thing. We're just, it's just a do over every four years. And uh, Anne has helped me on this. I think we put the dates on here on what needs to be uh, met. I just took them from the, from the uh, brochure from the county elections office. And Bill has also reviewed the item too for uh, accuracy. So with that, I think what's required is just simply to adopt uh, resolution 2018 11. It has a long title. Yes, no, that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> um, are there any uh, public comments regarding this item, this resolution? Any board comments? Nope. All right, then I will make a motion that the board adopt resolution 2018 11. A resolution of the board of directors of the Kensington Police Protection and Community Services District calling an election for the purpose of submitting the qualified electors of the district, the question of establishing the district's appropriations limit under Article, oh gosh, uh, 13B, thank you, of the California Constitution, uh, fixing the date of said election and requesting the services of the county clerk. Uh, that, Second. All right. Um, then I will take a roll call. Um, and just a reminder that date of that set election is November 6th. Um, Director Welsh? Yes. Uh, Vice President Tolley? Yes. Uh, Director Debbie? Yes. And I also vote yes, Rochelle Sheriff's wife. All right, the motion passes four to zero, and we will, we will see it on your ballot. All goes well. <coughs> well, that concludes all our, our <laughs> business for today. So I will make a motion that we adjourn. I'll second. All in favor? Yeah. I'm going to be a roll call. 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 I